Welcome back, friends. Hey, all summer we have been using off-branded coolers, so the cooler wars never seem to end. So the question always is, do these off-brands that can save you hundreds of bucks, do they perform as well, are they as well built as the good old-fashioned Yetis? Well, we're gonna talk about that in this video. Stay tuned. Okay, friends, before we get into this video, let me just talk about what a game changer it is to have a backpack cooler. Now, it's so simple just to pop in, grab this thing, just like you're at school back in the day or like you're about to take a hike, pop it on, have both of your hands and not be all lopsided one way or the other or trying to hold something hyper extending your back all the way down the beach. This is super convenient. The weight sits on your hips like it should. And I've just got to say, having a backpack cooler is, like I said, a game changer. Uh, Yeti makes a backpack cooler, so this is not for or against Yeti. If you like Yeti, they make one as well. But if you don't have one, you may want to check one out. Okay, I'm quite certain you've seen enough of my face. So I'm going to start uh, real, just quite simply, they all perform about the same. Uh, you're going to get about two days of ice on average out of each of these. And we've, we've been using that Yeti. Uh, we used it all last year and until the beginning of this summer, so a year and a half at least. And then uh, we've been splitting time between this Acaso cooler and this Turret cooler. Now, the, obviously the only difference here is, well, as far as style, these are backpack coolers. And I'm going to tell you that I'm going to tell you I love the backpack styling for our usage. Now, we use these, we've used these at the beach, at the pool at the lake uh, camping obviously you guys know we, we camp a good bit so we put these through a good bit of use and uh, yeah like I said they all perform about the same now let's talk about how well they're built okay let's talk about the build a little bit and before we get started with that a uh, question we always get, get asked is where are these made these are all made in China so yes the Yeti hoppers are made in China um, we always get asked that and and yeah, I like to buy American as much as I can, but that's sometimes that's tough to do But let's talk about the build uh, these two coolers as far as build quality are concerned are almost identical As a matter of fact, you can even see this little pattern here on this zipper is Even very similar over here. They're probably using the same zipper same waterproof or water resistant zipper uh, mostly leak proof now. I'm not crazy about the color on this one They sent me you know, you can't be really picky when they tell you they're gonna send you something for free But uh, they come in other colors. I think of gray and black uh, I'm not an Auburn fan, so I don't really care for the color of this one, but as far as builds concerned um, the back of these two and we'll, we'll definitely get to the Yeti in a second Let me show you There is a big difference here. You can see you've got a a nice backing plate here. Um, I don't know if you can see that from the sun. Let's see there. You can see the, it's kind of a hard back plate here. This one's more just mesh. Uh, these straps are not quite as cushy as these straps. Uh, same material, basically, as far as the outside of the straps concerned. But uh, yeah, stitching, there is a difference in stitching on these, these two versus the $300 Yeti. So um, you can see, if you're looking at these stitches here, it's hard to see, but they're a little bit tighter over here on the Yeti. And uh, you can definitely see it up front. Let's see if you can, let me get up front and take a look. All right, so if you're looking, this is up front, if you're looking at the stitching, you can see these, the, look at the distance between the, the W's there and then look at the distance between the W's here. So much tighter stitching here on the Yeti. I have to imagine that's not that's definitely a good thing. Um, as far as the straps themselves are concerned, the nylon, very, very similar. Yeti may be a little, little bit thicker than the uh, these two, but not a whole lot. Like I said, they perform the same. Um, the build on the Yeti, if I'm going 1 to 10, you know, I'd give the Yeti, if the Yeti's a 10, I'd give these an 8. You know, Yeti seems to be the benchmark 
of coolers. Everyone knows that. I know there's Orca and Arctic and all that stuff. Those are all great too, but Yeti seems to be the benchmark. I think everyone can agree with that. The backpack coolers, the blue one here, the Turret, is not nearly as comfortable as the Acaso, for sure. I like this one's much more comfortable than this one for me. I'm a big guy, may even have a love handle or two, and this one is tight in around my waist, even when I loosen up these straps. Um, this one is much more comfortable in that respect. Now, if you're a smaller person, it's probably not gonna matter. They both come with uh, bottle openers. This one here, the Acaso has its up here. On the Yeti, you gotta spend 10, 20 more bucks to attach one to the Yeti. It does not come with the uh, bottle opener. One second on build, go back to build for a second. These little side pockets here, I'm just not convinced that this is gonna last very long if you use these a lot versus the turret, which is the same material as the outside of the cooler. So um, I think these are gonna be much more durable for sure. Um, this comes with a shoulder strap. The turret comes with a shoulder strap. The Acaso does not. Of course the Yeti does. That's how you mainly carry that one. But yeah, just a general overview of them. The most important part is performance. I mean, they all perform the same. Price-wise, you're looking at $299 for the Yeti. Sometimes you can find them for $249. Uh, the Acaso is running $169 as of today on Amazon. And the Turret is running, running $179. Do I think the Turret is worth $10 more? Uh, based on build quality, if you're a smaller person, yes. If you are an average size person, yes. If you're a larger person, you probably want to go with the Acaso. So that's really, that's really about it. I mean, we've enjoyed our Yeti. Um, the outside shell on it compared to the other ones, yeah, maybe more durable. I don't know. It's hard to say. We're, we're not super hardcore on these things. So, you know, we, we, we use them a lot, but we're not like dredging them through the woods and everything you see on commercials. I think we use them how 99% of people use them. Okay, a big deal on all of these coolers is how do you open them? As you know, to use them regularly, you gotta open and close them all the time. I actually love the magnetic feature of the Yeti. It's just super easy. Now, yeah, if you see I'm using this to prop it open, uh, can you do it one-handed? Not really, maybe, barely. But uh, yeah, I love this feature. I wish that these had magnetic tops. If these had magnetic tops, they might just be the perfect cooler but you can see small tooth design zippers they're a little bit of the pain you know they're they're not perfect but if you use the pull my neighbor actually made a good point if you use the pull the way they're designed the little t-pull here you can see that uh, the zippers work quite easily if you just you know push it this way or just pull it with that uh, yeah they're gonna bind a little bit they both come with zipper lube it's little it's just petroleum jelly basically it's kind of nasty to deal with so I really wish I really I really wish that they would use magnets on these things as far as the width of the insulation these are all the same now they may come across a little different based on the color that crazy orange really pops but uh, the width of the walls on these are all the same and the tops are a little bit wider uh, matter of fact that the top may be twice as wide on these but they're both the same obviously the Yeti works a little bit different but these sidewalls, once you get down here, they're the same width as these two coolers, as far as insulation is concerned. All right, friends. Hey, I gotta say, throughout the summer, I've been impressed with these off-brand coolers. I mean, I've always been impressed with the Yeti, but for the price, it should impress you. Uh, these coolers are gonna save you anywhere from 120 to 130 bucks over a Yeti. Now, Yeti also makes a backpack cooler, and if you're gonna take anything from this video is, a backpack cooler is a game changer. And I'm so glad that we've got these now. It's huge to have both your hands again while you're uh, walking to the beach or to the campsite or whatever. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it always helps the channel to, to share. And as always, consider subscribing. See ya.